Hello guys, and today I'm going to briefly discuss politics, okay, um, in this particular clip, okay. This is our Prime Minister refusing to answer a question about whether or not he will be interviewed by one of the main political interviewers at the BBC. Now, watch our Prime Minister's body language, especially. Watch how he answers the question. This honestly looks like a comedy clip. It looks like the sort of thing you would see on a satire show. It does not look like the sort of thing a real, genuine Prime Minister would say, or how a genuine Prime Minister would probably say it. Okay? This is how politics is in Britain. Okay? Where even the Prime Minister doesn't seem to take the job that seriously. Many people, so far, he is the only main leader that has not agreed to take part at this moment in time in an interview with Andrew Neil, And he has not refused to do one, but people believe he may just not do it. Okay? Now, given all the other leaders have taken part, including the leader of the opposition, and given this is um, being, this is interview will be on the BBC, which is the main to foreigners out there, it's the, to make it simple, it's practically state television. To make it simple, it's not 100% true, it's the nearest I can do to explain it to foreigners, right? Given that he does not want to be interviewed by one of the main political interviewers on state TV, when he is currently the Prime Minister, gives people the impression that he's a coward and that he hasn't got the guts to do it. Which is strange, considering he's actually, um, in the polls, expected to win outright. Maybe he's getting too cocky and too overconfident. Anyway, I'm going to let you see the clip for yourself of our Prime Minister refusing to answer the question. But it's not only that he refuses to answer the question, it's also the comedy he uses in the way that he refuses to answer the question, almost mocking the whole thing. Now, in fairness, that is his style. But... What do you think? Do you, is this, as I said, if you, I had not told you that this was the real, genuine British Prime Minister, and he was the real, genuine British Prime Minister at the time of this clip, and that um, he was genuinely in, involved in a, an election campaign at the time, you would not believe it. You'd think it was one of those comedy clips on a satire show. It's not. It's 100% real. OK, so you guys can now say what you think about this. Should he take it more seriously, even if he genuinely didn't know and maybe there were other people? Why, do, why couldn't he say? Does, as Prime Minister, does he have no say whatsoever on who he inter who isn't going to interview him? I understand if the interview themselves refused to interview him, that would be another matter. But given that I doubt the interviewer would refuse to interview him because there's been no indication of that whatsoever, why would that happen? Why would he not just be interviewed like everybody else? Maybe he just didn't like the tone of the interviews that the others had and thought I'm not going to make the same mistake by being interviewed by somebody who may ask me difficult questions. And people, the thought that people have is, what has he got to hide? So now, I'm going to let you watch the clip for yourself, and bear in mind, this is 100% real. It is not a satire clip. Bear that in mind, okay? Thanks for watching. Now watch the clip of our Prime Minister um, poking fun at being asked if he'll actually be interviewed by somebody. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, but don't switch off. Watch the video that's come straight after. Thanks. It should be on now. Five. Four, three, two, one. Um, Prime Minister, uh, can I begin by asking, will you sit down and be interviewed by Andrew Neil on the BBC before polling day? I will s have all sorts of interviews with all sorts of people, and uh, here I am being interviewed by you now, and I'm sure that uh, active discussions are taking place about future interviews well, with any number of people. We're, we're talking for five minutes in a farm shop, but will you agree to a proper interview with Andrew Neil on the I'm BBC sure, before polling day. I'm sure that I will be having all sorts of interrogations and inquisitions uh, from all sorts of people. Sit down, stand up. You know, Prime Minister, uh, this is a big interview. All the other leaders have agreed to do it. Will you join them in being interviewed by Andrew Neil on the BBC before election day? Well, uh, you know, 
I'm, I don't want to, to preempt any discussions that uh, may be taking place, but I've no doubt that conversations are going on about all sorts of interviews with all sorts of people, and I look forward very much to it, their result. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> there is. I mean, other other people are getting involved in these conversations. It would be not. It's not my my job to to, to do. This. They will be. They will be deciding and discussing. Uh, who I'm very happy to be interviewed by by anybody, and, and particularly by you. And I look forward to the the outcome of those discussions. Can you see if you don't do this interview, critics will say that you're running scared, you're chicken, you're afraid of scrutiny. Here I am. I'm being interviewed by you. Are you we're saying... Are you, five minutes. Are you it's saying, not a, you it's not a full-length interview. Of, are you saying that you're incapable of providing scrutiny? This is a five-minute interview <laughs> in a farm shop. It's not the same thing. Well, I'm very happy to submit uh, all manner of scrutiny, all manner of uh, debates, and have done so, and uh, lots of conversations are happening about that matter right now. So you might do it. I'm, all sorts of conversations are happening about that matter right now and uh, other people than me are responsible for those discussions and negotiations and I do not want to preempt what they may decide.